Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. You already know it's your girl Precious. So today I'm gonna do a full on review of the new Bad Habit. This is the Luna palette and it's supposed to be the dupe for the Norvina, Nor yeah, Norvina palette, which has more of like a purple. So I decided to pick it up and review it. So here's the box right here and it just says Bad Habit on it, it's all black. I've already taken the tape off of it. So now I'm just gonna open it. So when you open it, the first thing you see is bubble wrap and it has a quote right there. It says the makeup you crave, bad habit. This actually came in four days, which is crazy because I'm from Texas. I'm not sure where they ship, but it came really fast. But here's a bubble wrap. The palette actually comes in a mini bubble wrap as well. So this is what it looks like, the packaging wise. Sorry for all the hand prints. I have a lot of lotion on my hands. But this is the Luna palette. And when you feel the front, it has like, the texture feels a little bit 3D. It has like a different texture to it on it. But it's really pretty. I like how the packaging looks. I think the inside also looks just like the package. Okay, so I was right. So the packaging that it came with looks just like it. This is the palette right here. So when you open it up, the first thing you see is this right here. And this is just a protective. I love when palettes come with that. But here is the palette right here. I don't want to blind you guys with the mirror. But let me see. Okay, it doesn't really fold back. I'm kind of scared to fold it back. But this is the palette right here. And it's supposed to look exactly like the Nirvana or Novena palette. Sorry, I don't know how to say your name. But I see what they did is that they just um, flipped the order. I'm gonna put the original Norvina palette. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a picture of it probably right here so you can reference that it's supposed to look exactly like this palette right here. So the first color I'm gonna swatch is this color right here. This is called Crescent. This is more of like a white, off-white kind of color. It's not a color that I would use personally, but let's see how it looks. This is it right here. So the next color, which is right here, this is called Waxing, and it's more of like a light, kind of like a light brown. And this is Waxing right there. So the next color we're gonna swatch is Apaloon, and it's right here. And it's more of like a bronzy, it looks more bronzy to me. It's more of like a bronzy shade. And there's a Paloon right there. The next one I'm gonna swatch is Penombre. Penombre is right here. And there's Penombre right there. Next I'm gonna swatch High Tide. And High Tide is also another bronzy kind of brown look, which is right there. Okay, so so far High Tide is my favorite and it's right there. That's actually a color I would actually use. So next, I'm gonna swatch Wanning, and it's right there. Ooh. And there's Wanning right there. Wanning would be a good inner corner highlight for your eyes, it's really pretty. And so the last color on that row is called Afi Lion. Some of these words are kind of different. Some of these words are kind of hard to say, but Afi Lion, E Lion. And it's another pretty transition shade. And there's that color right there. So I pretty much just swatched all of the top row. So now we're gonna move on to the bottom row. So the first color that I'm gonna swatch is right here and this is Eclipse. Ooh, Eclipse pretty. And there is Eclipse right there. It's like a really pretty purple. The next color I'm gonna swatch is Viridian, and it's right here. And it's more of like a pink, pink with rose gold in it. Rose. That's actually pretty. And there's that color right there. The next color I'm gonna swatch is called, I think it's called Mare, Mare, I'm probably wrong. Sorry, I'm butchering some of these, but this will be my perfect transition shade right here. And it's just a matte brown. And that's the color right there. The next color I'm gonna swatch is a purple shimmery shade and it's called Half Moon. And here's Half Moon right there. Ooh, Half Moon's really pretty. Okay, the next color that I'm gonna swatch is called Bas Basalt. And it's like a gold color right there. Ooh, this one's pigmented. Okay, so so far that has been the most pigmented and creamiest one, basalt, and this is basalt right there. 
So the next color I'm going to swatch is actually one of the popular ones in the Nirvana palette. And is this purple right here. And this is Super Moon right there. It is so pretty. And so the last color is called Dark Side. And Dark Side is like a maroon with a little bit of brown. Really pretty shade, that's for sure. Really pretty. Ooh, this is pretty too. And this is the last shade right there. Really pretty maroon color with brown. That's actually maroon's actually my favorite color. But yeah, these are all of the shades in the palette. You guys tell me if you like the shades in this palette, if you tried it. When I was watching, I did see a little bit of fallout, but not like anything too drastic. So it all still looks intact. But I'm gonna do a quick eye look with this and I will give you guys my final thoughts after I do it. So stay tuned. This is the final look that I got on this palette. I mostly just use four colors. I'm gonna put my glasses back on because I'm blind. There we go. Ooh, that's better. Okay, so I mostly just use four colors in this palette. I used Eclipse, I used Moire, I used Dark Side, and also I used Assault, which is right here. So my overall review of the palette is the color that I felt like was not the best was Moire, which was supposed to be a transition shade right here. I felt like it was hard to blend out in the beginning stage. It was really hard to blend out. But I really liked Dark Side, which I put right on top of it. And the color that stood out to me was Basalt. It is very creamy. That's the color that I have in my inner corners right there but it is very pretty and eclipse eclipse is a very pretty purple like you can see it's a very pretty dark purple and when i was doing my makeup i didn't see any fallout my friend actually have the original anastasia beverly hill palette and i actually let her see this palette and she said it was very similar to the one that she has and of course all of the colors are like mixed up and they're not the same name not the same size and this one's actually $16 and they had and I have to pay for shipping because it wasn't from shop miss a and shipping was I think $4.95 so it was like up to $20 but there was supposed to be 10% off but something happened with that but yeah this is the palette right here I think it's actually a good buy if you've tried this, let me know down below in the comments or if you've tried the Nirvana one. I want to know about that one too because that one is still on my radar to add to my collection. But I really wanted to get the dupe one because I didn't know if I liked that one. And it's very expensive and, you know, broke college student apparently. So I didn't know if I, <laughs> so I, didn't know if I actually wanted to get it. Well, that is it all for my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. The swatches are still in my hand. And leave a comment down below and subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing with your life? Subscribe to my channel. The description bar is somewhere down there. I don't know what area it will be, but it's somewhere down there. Please subscribe down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I post once a week. And Follow all my social media. I'll also have that down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.